As the Roaring Twenties came to a close, America saw the dawn of the Great Depression following the stock market crash of October 1929. A year after the longest lasting economic downturn in the history of the Western industrialized world, the reorganization of the Mississippi Highway Department occurred with the Stancil Act of 1930. This law changed the number of highway commissioners from eight to three. It also called for a primary road system to connect county seats, principal highways of adjoining states and other areas in the state with a population of 500 or more. The Stancil Act gave complete control of the state highway system to the Highway Commission, edging closer to how MDOT operates today. Attempts were made to enact legislation to provide funds for construction and paving, but it wasn't until 1936 that a definite step was made. That year, the legislation took advantage of the Federal Aid Act and authorized $23 million to be spent on primary U.S. numbered highways. Although this was a dark time for the country, in Mississippi, progress was being made towards the transportation infrastructure as it stands today. I'm Steve Azar. Thank you for tuning in to this M.100 moment. For the rest of the story, visit goem.com forward slash msdot100.